You might have seen this viral video showing a needle hitting the earth at 99% the speed of light. But why stop at a needle? For example, if an indestructible baguette weighing about 250 grams traveled at 99.999% the speed of light and hit the earth, it would release 5 billion billion joules of energy. That's the combined energy release of every single nuclear test in history multiplied by 2.5. A, a toaster weighing about 2 kilograms traveling at near the speed of light would release 40 billion billion joules, which is roughly 100,000 times the energy the entire sun releases every second. So I guess you understand the idea here. When you take small objects and make them go really fast, you get a lot of kinetic energy, ignoring air resistance, of course. But that got me thinking, what's the smallest object you would need traveling at near the speed of light to completely obliterate the Earth? To figure that out, we need what's called the Earth's gravitational binding energy constant, which is this very large number here. It represents the amount of energy needed to blow apart the Earth far enough so that it doesn't collect itself back together. So as a random guess, let's take an elephant weighing about 5,000 kilograms and accelerated near the speed of light. If this theoretical elephant hit us, that would be about 1.6 billion times Times more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, the largest bomb ever detonated. Still not enough to completely destroy the Earth though, because in reality, you would need something weighing about 1.1 trillion kilograms. That may sound like a lot, but it's really just the same as two of the largest ships ever built, which if you didn't know is the CUI's giant, weighing in at about 500 million kilograms.